G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts channel. This is a little special feature video on two, on two of my uh, best metal detecting finds in terms of coins. Yes, as you can see, I've found two gold half sovereign coins pretty much within a year and a bit of each other. And this was in 2019 and 2020. Yeah, um, it's, I'm actually, I am still can't get over the fact that I've found these two gold coins um, within a year of each other, or within a year and a bit of each other, and um, not long after I started out metal detecting. I started metal detecting in 2018, and um, in March of 2019, I went hunting up Sydney. The story goes, I, I hunted, um, hunted some... Uh, I was on my bike. I was using my 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 uh, my lab Go Find Twenty. I was hunting a few places in Sydney um, where I can get my where I can get to on my bike, and and um, yeah, some Irish guy says, "Yeah, I hope you find gold." When I was hunting a little reserve area, and and um, coincidentally, I I uh, went across uh, Sydney Harbour Bridge, and I was going to hunt um, hunt the uh, parklands below Sydney Harbour Bridge. But then I saw a little uh, water trap, a tidal trap, um, just east of the Harbour Bridge, and I was thinking, and I was looking, and I was thinking, hmm, I'm not sure. And then, bloody my instinct, mind just says, hunt it, hunt it, hunt it, hunt it. So I went in. So I thought, oh, all right. So I, I went into the water trap, and um, yeah, I hunted for a little while, found a half penny, and I thought, okay, this is cool. So then um hunted a little while longer and um at, at the back of the trap out popped this gold half sovereign coin dated 1873 and I was like what the fuck I was I just did not expect that and I was like I was just so I was I was just over the moon and uh I, it was it was a surreal experience so well, anyway, um, so yeah, I think when it popped out, it, I saw it from the uh, from the from the Queen Victoria face, and oh, it might have been the other way around. I can't remember, but but anyway, um, so yeah, this uh, half sovereign is an 1873 Melbourne minted half sov. It's I uh, on the uh, close up photos, it I can make out the the M mint mark on the uh, reverse and on the obverse is uh, yeah Queen Victoria and as you can see it dates 1873 apart from apart from stuck bits of uh, bits of sea grime or whatever whatever it is um, this coin is just in in very good condition it has some scratches here and there I mean it's not perfect but still it's it's in fantastic condition Anyhow, um, looking up on the internet, this is actually a key date because the Melbourne Mint mark um, is the, the the 1873 Melbourne minted half sov is the first year of mintage, and um, one of these in super good condition could, I think, could fetch something over twenty grand. So, given the condition of my one, maybe I could get maybe this could be worth a grand or two grand. Who knows? Um, I haven't had a, I haven't had it graded, but but um, it, it I reckon it'd be worth a worth a bit given the fact that it's key date and given the fact that the good condition examples fetch over twenty grand. But anyhow, that's a very special uh, half sov I found. Anyhow, sadly I was not making videos at the time, and bloody hell I wish I did, but. Thankfully, I've taken photos of of the coin as it was, as as I found it on the uh, just under the surface of the of the sand. So I found it in the sand. Well, I just took photos of it when I placed it on the sand, and uh, here are the photos.
Okay, well, those are the photos. Anyhow, so that's my very first gold half sovereign coin I found with a Mine Lab Go Find 20. <laughs> so yeah, you don't need an expensive detector to find to find um, really valuable items. On to the next one. Okay, so not only did I luck out in Sydney um, 2019, but fast forward to, I think, May 2020, I was hunting a park in Sydney. And um, yeah, I've hunted the park many times and found some really good coins and relics and, and all that from the Victorian period. And yeah, and then on one, one hunt um, there in the bushes, I popped this baby out. A 1908 Sydney minted gold half sovereign coin. I mean, what's the odds of finding two gold half sovereign coins in Sydney and within spa within space of uh, less than two years of each other? I mean, and half sovereigns apparently harder to find than than full sovereigns. So that is that is luck. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I was hunting. I was hunting in the bushes of a Sydney park, and um, I found like this play coin, and um, which was ironically a uh, a, uh, a a tiny little, uh, I guess maybe gold gilded uh, play toy coin version of a, of a sovereign or something like that. And uh, nearby, I, I just I dug a. I think it was a forty four signal. It was kind of jumpy a bit. It was in the in the sand. I was using my Nocta Macro Simplex at the time, and out came this coin, and I was like, "My God, what's yeah?" As I said, what's the chances of that happening? <laughs> Anyhow, so here's the reverse of it, and here's the obverse um, with King Edward the Seventh. This coin's actually in much better condition than the uh, 1873 half sov. Unfortunately, it's not worth quite as much as the as the 1873 half sov. Um, but I'm going to take a guess. I'd at least probably get maybe two hundred dollars for this coin if I if um, I were to get it graded. I reckon it could be it could fetch over a grand. But yeah, it's in pretty 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 nice shape. All right. Now, fortunately, I. I, I was making videos at the time, and I did actually video this half sov coming out of the soil, and and as you can see, I was like super excited, but I kind of kept myself quiet because um, there was people walking around, and I just <laughs> did not want to make too much of a spectacle. So yeah, anyhow, time to cue the video. Here's the video. Viewers, viewers, you won't believe what I just what I just dug up. A gold half sovereign. Oh my god. And this rang like low as anything. Oh, it always pays to the low tones. I have to be quiet about this one. I don't want people to hear me. Wow. I just dug an Edward gold half sovereign. What a beautiful coin. Wow. Let's see, the date is 1908. Oh man. That, I've, honestly, I never thought I'd find another gold sovereign anytime soon. Wow, gold half sovereign. Edward the Seventh. I better be careful. Um, be very light with my cleaning, otherwise I'll devalue it. All right, I'm going to bag this up and keep going. Ooh. But first, we'll talk about my highlight finds. It's gold half sovereign. Let's see if I can get into some good lighting here to show it. Anyway, yep, yeah, this is a 1908 gold half sovereign, and looking under the monocle, uh, I can see it's a Sydney mint mark gold half sovereign, and it's in beautiful condition. Only some very, very fine light scratches, but it's in very good condition. Honestly, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm literally still gobsmacked over that 1873 
Victorian gold half sovereign I found at a water trap in Sydney last year and oh to find another gold half sovereign up in Sydney is just absolutely amazing I just can't get over the fact that I found this hey <laughs> anyway I've uh, I've uh, looked up the, the uh, selling prices for these gold half sovereigns okay the price depends on the condition of course so at at bare minimum at bare minimum this coin would sell for about two hundred dollars but it could sell for up to um up to several hundred to even over a thousand dollars depending on on the uh grade it it is at i have to go i have to get this coin graded as well as my 1873 gold half soft and 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 find out their actual value but anyway it, but it, but it, you know, all the same, I'm not going to even sell these coins because they're just too, they're just too damn good to sell. Anyway, I'm so proud of this find. Okay, viewers, um, so yeah, that's pretty much about it for this uh, special feature. I'm really pleased that I found these two gold half solves. I'm just, yeah, over the moon. It's just, it's it's kind of like, it's kind of like pot luck that I just so happen to be in the right places at the right times. And uh, yeah, um, I've um, since hunted that water trap many times um, uh, since finding this half solve and I haven't really found anything great after that and um yeah but that sydney park that i hunted it ke it's it kept on producing some great finds for a while afterwards so yeah all right well anyway that's about it hope you enjoyed this uh special video feature on my two best coin finds this is troy from troy's visual arts channel signing out